Hi friends, today we are going to see the past year need questions for the chapter Organisms and Population and today in this video we will cover part 4. Now let's begin with the first question which was asked in the year 2010. Which one of the following is one of the characteristics of biological community? We are given four options here. Stratification, uh, mora mortality, natality and sex ratio. Now if you look here clearly, natality, sex ratio and mortality all contribute to the population aspects okay the answer is stratification stratification is one of the characteristics of biological community well natality mortality structure sex or whatever they are the basic characteristics of population now you can ask me a question as what to is what is this stratification this is a system of formation of layers or classes or categories and this is used to describe a particular way of arranging seeds while planting as well as the geological layers of the rock so they contribute for the overall biological community therefore the right answer to this question is option a next question here a country with high rate of population growth took measures to reduce it the figure shows age sex um, pyramids age sex pyramids of the population a and b 20 years apart so what do you in what you can analyze from here that is a question here what can you analyze here there should be some decrease in the growth rate okay that is the ultimate uh, thing that we need to see here okay okay if you look at a and b and if you closely watch a is more recent and shows slight reduction in the growth rate okay so option d is the answer see you closely watch a and you compare it with b then you will know the difference okay a is more recent and shows a slight reduction in the growth rate therefore the right answer is option D next question here what is true about the isolated small tribal population is you have to analyze uh, there is a decline in population as boys marry girls only after I mean only from their own tribe hereditary disease like color blindness do not spread in an isolated population wrong wrestlers who develop strong body muscles in their lifetime okay there is no change in the population size no when it happens to be in a small tribal population the there is a decline of population because the boys marry the girls only from their own tribal this thing so they're not going to have access to the outside people so as the, po the population only decrease because generations grow within and in fact if there's dying or in fact if the population becomes less there's no there's no chance because they don't have contact with the rest so the right answer is option a next question here genomic uh, geometric representation of age structure is a characteristic of we just now discussed in the very first question of this chapter I mean of this part we said that natality mortality sex structure or whatever it contributes to the characteristics of population so once again here the answer is option A next question here the population of an insect species show an explosive increase in numbers during rainy season followed by the disappearance at the end of the season what does this show what does this show actually uh, the population of an insect species so shows an explosive increase in numbers during rainy season because they have good habitat and they can feed on the dead organic matter and they are more of humidity they have a lot of chances to have their consumption of food and there is a disappearance in the end of the season see if the population is allowed to grow in a predator free environment the population grows beyond the carrying capacity and there occurs a population crash due to the sudden shortage of food so the main reason here is the food when there is abundance of food many organisms survive when there's shortage of food they automatically compete and die so it is because of the population growth curve is of the J type okay the right answer to this question is option option B okay yeah next question here the pop uh, the next question is I'm sorry two plants can be convalescently uh, said to belong to the same species if they dash have more than 90% similar genes wrong look similar and possess identical secondary metabolites wrong see 
they can they can said to be belong to the same species if they can reproduce freely with each other and form seeds that is the main criteria that is required see there are many plants which resemble one another but still the main characteristic required is that they can reproduce freely with one and with each other and form seeds okay next question here a high density of element elephant population in an area can result in dash what happens there I talked about competition in if you had uh, clearly listened to my videos I spoke about intraspecific and interspecific that is when there is a competition between within the population you call that as intra when it is different species when the competition is among different species in a same niche then it is called interspecific now this high density of population that is especially of element for elephant population in an area can result in intraspecific because you have large number of elephants there and imagine if there is some drought or some shortage in the food what happens competitions can prevail among themselves so when it happens within species you call them as intraspecific therefore the right answer is option a okay next question here niche overlap indicates dash so what is niche it indicates the habitat of a particular species and their interaction of that species with the resource present in the habitat niche overlap means that two or more species share the resources present in a particular particular niche so it's actually sharing that overlap will occur only when they only when they share therefore right therefore the right answer is option B. See these questions are direct you don't have to have much explanation so I've just explained you whatever it is there. Okay fine. Next question here. Praying mantis is a good example of dash. Praying mantis. So what is this actually? Praying mantis. Have you ever heard about it? So I'm going to show you an image of it. So this is how the praying mantis from India looks like. If you see the image, it clearly looks like as though it is praying. Okay, the two um, legs of it, uh, I mean the whatever, the feature of it looks like as though it is praying. Praying mantis is a good example of camouflage. Camouflage is actually a natural coloring of an animal which enables to bend, blend in with the surroundings. It is a common name of the insect of the order Mantoda, often mistakenly spelled for praying mantis because it's a prayer like stance that you see there, the appearance. That is why the name. Therefore, it is actually camouflage. The right answer is option C. So, I think the image clearly tells you why that name. Okay, next question here. People living at sea level have around 5 million RBC per cubic millimeter of their blood. Whereas those living at the altitude of 5,400 meters have 8 million. This is because of the high altitude. And what does it show actually? Why that difference? See, at the altitude of 5,400 meters, the low atmospheric pressure of oxygen will be very low. So the solubility of the oxygen in the blood will be very less. Hence, the oxygen carried by each RBC will be too less. But to fulfill the oxygen requirement of the body, blood has to carry more oxygen to the body tissue and this is done by the increased number of RBCs. Therefore, what, does it, what can you depict from the explanation that I gave you? Atmospheric oxygen level is less and hence more RBCs are needed to absorb the requirement of oxygen to survive. That is why that difference. Okay. Therefore, the right answer to this question is option A. Next question here, which one of the follow which of the following is not true for a species? We have to analyze the statements here. Okay, members of the species can be interpreted. It is not true. Is it true? Yes. Gene flows does not occur between the population of species. See, gene flows is a spread of is a spread of genes through the population is affected by the movements of the individual and their propagules, example seed pores, etc. Gene flow ensures that all populations of a given species will share a common common gene pool. Pop have a common gene pool. 
that is it reduces the difference between the population the interruption of the gene flow between population is a prerequisite for the formation of new species therefore that is necessary therefore the wrong one which is not true about species is option b because i just now explained you why is it important and that is a necessary part also therefore option b is a right answer for this question next question here the maximum growth rate occurs in dash very easy question uh, when you take a graph you always have a stationary phase where the growth will be stable you will not have any growth there lag phase is where the growth will start to retard or the growth will be in a very slow rate senescent phase is actually uh, it, it is the declining phase while ex exponential phase is a maximum growth phase of the graph therefore the right answer to this question is option b so if you see the graph will be in this form where's my this thing okay it will be it will represent this form so this growth phase if you see you actually call them as exponential phase where the growth is steady okay next question certain characteristics demographic features of developing countries are dash so this is a direct question but you, you need to know what is demography it is a study of population okay what is it it is a study of population in all aspects it will include in everything fertility so the main thing for a population is a fertility character fertility refers to the number of the children per couple mortality rate will refer to the average number of natural death per unit population per unit time so what will you take as a characteristic for demographic features for the population this thing fertility low or rapidly falling mortality rate population growth and the young age distribution therefore the right answer is option a okay so with all these analysis and characteristics you can actually do a demographic study or a feature okay next question here two opposite forces operate in the growth and development of every population one of them relate to the ability to reproduce at a given rate the force opposing it is called as dash so what do you mean by force it is resistant resistance right biotic potential in an inherent ability of an organism to reproduce resistance refers to the opposing character so you have a clue here it's actually a force therefore the right answer to this question is option a environmental resistance okay so with this we complete the part four of organisms and population hope to meet you in the next part of the same chapter thank you